Hey guys, Lieutenant Curious here today. I'm here with a new type of video that I plan on doing a series for. This is the first official episode, you could call it. I am going to do a series on Lego terrain building tips, just because I believe terrain is my strong suit, so what I'm best at in building mocks. And I thought I would give you guys a few tips on how to do certain types of terrain. This first one will be desert terrain. So I will do a, I will have on this 16 by 16 plate, I will do some detailed uh, desert terrain, tell you guys how I do it. And you don't need to take all of these tips, but if you would like, you can use some of them in your own mocks, just like if you would like. And yeah. Also, if you guys would like to request for different types of terrain that for me to do for future episodes, I will like to do these like once a week. So if you guys would like, you can comment down below in the comment section a different type of terrain that you would like me to build and provide tips for. All right, let's get right into that time lapse. All right, guys, so there you go. There was a nice time lapse of how I did this desert terrain. Now I will get into depth on how I did it and what kind of pieces I used. So you guys could use this type of terrain for the for a desert t type of terrain. You can use these type of techniques and colors, pieces, etc. So yeah, let's get right into it. So you can see how I elevated quite a bit in these two corners with dark tan plates like you can see right here i elevated about four or five plates and i you i used quite a bit of two by three two by four two by six plates just to elevate and then as i got into the corner i used quite a bit of one by two plates and for the most part with desert terrain it honestly is pretty simple uh, if you like to detail with 1x2 and 1x1 plates, which as you can see, I like to do quite a bit. Um, it's quite simple. With 1x2 plates, you can just detail as much as you want. With 1x1s, you can place randomly. And sometimes if I have them in a gap where there's like a slope, it's like right here. If there's like a area where it's more than one plate above this base plate, then I add a cheese slope just so it looks a little smoother. You can also see over here, we have a couple of these sloped tiles in olive green. And adding cheese slopes can be very helpful for desert terrain or any terrain because it adds a different type of texture than just plates. Tiles are also very, can be very important like 1x2 and 1x1 or jumper, pl jumper plates in 1x2 or 2x2 can also be quite helpful. Now when it comes to colors, for this type of terrain, I used a base color of dark tan. You can use tan as a base color, that would work as well. I don't like using that much tan personally, but I did add a couple one by ones just to spice it up a bit. And then you can also see some olive green. Olive green can definitely work in desert terrain. And then this is a very unique color, medium dark flesh. I have a patch right here and one back here. Medium dark flesh doesn't have to be used in desert terrain, but I personally like to use it. So if you want to do this type of terrain and you want to make it more unique, you can add random colors as long as I'd say if you still want it to look good, but want to make it unique, you could use colors like medium dark flesh, dark orange, dark brown, reddish brown, Reddish brown can definitely work for desert terrain. I didn't choose to do it in this one, but you can definitely do that. You can do sand green, 
Uh, I would I would stay away from green and dark green just because that's that would be more for like a plains type of terrain, which I will do in another one of these videos. So yeah, that's about it. Now let's get to letting you guys go. All right, guys, that's about it for my first official Lego building terrain tips videos. Like I said earlier, be sure to leave a comment down below if you would like to suggest a different type of terrain that you would like to see me build. And I will do them once a week. So if you request one quickly after this video comes out, then I will probably do that one next. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos, mini mocks, mocks for more terrain detail that you would like to see if you want to build your own mocks. So be sure to check out my other mocks, mini mocks, Sorrento mini mock series, all of that. Be sure to check out my Instagram for daily behind the scenes updates on all of my builds. Be sure to leave a like on the video to help me out and subscribe for some more awesome Lego Star Wars content. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.